Hello, people of the internet. Today, I'm playing a different game called Jalopy. Ooh, plug sockets. Where basically you're driving this old car. I've already done the start. I attempted to make a video on it, but the audio is so messed up. I'm not going to bother uploading it. Also, nothing really interesting happens in that very start of a game. So, I'm just going to continue from here. Now, we have to be respectful when we're leaving the motel. I think it's motel, not hotel. We have to leave all the drawers open, and that's not a drawer, obviously. We have to leave the sink on. All the lights on, if I can ever find switches for them. What's the one outside? No, I don't know. I've got my brightness to stupid levels, though, on this uh, TV, which I'm using as a monitor. It's not even 1080p, but I managed to fool my recorder into thinking it's post-HD, as in... 2100 or something by 2000 and something I don't really remember but it's a far better resolution than it actually is it does allow me to record 1080p though in windows mode windowed mode which is good ooh let's spy on what you're doing I wonder if I can go around there and spy on what she's doing ooh <gasps> you're charging me 20 well I've already been charged but, because I'm an entrepreneur, I'm taking these complimentary things and, um, enjoying them. Yes, that was exactly what I was doing. Now, if you can't see me, uh, time to go to a convenience store. Oh, yeah, I think I need my wallet. Which is in the car. Which I've lost, there we go. Yeah, I parked here. It's magically moved. Well, I did leave all my doors and windows open, so it's possible some kind person moved it off the street so it wasn't in the way anymore and I dropped all my stuff there wallet yeah you know I'll leave my um, keys in I think I think they're in and then I'll leave my door open such a nice neighborhood here and I don't have much money so I'm selling what I have on my hands now and why is this closed that's the auto shop, okay. Need to find the other shop. Don't think we can go in here. This looks like a pub or something. Ooh, interesting. It does have a door thing, though. Like, I thought they wouldn't have even bothered to animate that, but they did. Same here. Let me in to your house so I can steal all your coffee. Not tea. I drink exclusively coffee. This is like a double door. And both of them move. Interesting. Now I need to find where I'm actually trying to go though. It's just the brightness on this game is horrendous. I know it's night, but I can barely see a thing. I, I mean, I can see, but it's like I can barely see a thing in detail. And this is with the brightness hiked up. Can we go up here? Yeah, we can. We can go to this monument thing. Maybe something's going on top of that someday. Maybe there's something on top and I missed it. No, it doesn't look like it. I don't even know which way I'm walking anymore. Here we have the uh, Leica dealership. Motel. And I've gone round in a circle. I think the shop was up here. I believe this is all randomly generated when you start the game up. Which is interesting. That just goes back to where I was. I don't know, maybe the uh, shop's closed or something. Just check me tyres on the car since they might be below perfect. No, I don't know, it doesn't say. Sometimes it says when you hover over them. Can I put these in the back? Ooh. I can put the cup in the back. There we go. All my stuff I uh, stole, I mean complimentarily talk. There's my keys. Someone put them in the sun visor. That was polite. It's a nice neighbourhood here. That's why you always stay wherever it's cheapest. And yeah, don't confuse your windscreen wipers and headlights. I did have a hazard warning light party though before. Which as you'll see. Hazard warning light party. <laughs> Turn the whole town into a wave concert or something. Bringing the party wherever we go. I'm pretty sure the um, 
uncle, if he was coming with me, would have moaned about this, saying the police will pull us over. Nah, please don't pull me over. I bribed them. Here we've got a uh, border patrol thing. Better turn those off. Don't want to get told off. Just have no headlights on at all. Into this area. Papers, please. Take, take me papers, then. Unless they're not the right papers. What papers could he want, though? Where's my wallet? No. That's a like a manual. Hmm. Uncle! I need my light on, that would help. Surprisingly, it still works. I don't know. Something's going on. That door, oh no. I seem to be trapped. Oh no, it's okay. I'm just being completely stupid. I forgot I needed to open the window to give him the papers. Yeah. I used to live in America where everything was electric and automatic. I'm not used to this. Come on, uh, what am I doing now? The key won't turn. And I'm on the wrong book again. Wait, wait, actually this may be what I'm supposed to do. Again, I'll do whatever's shortest. I'm just so close to uh, leaving the game and then entering again. Although it's probably my mistake. And I need to get off this book. Resume. Can we... Yes. Start the mobile. Ooh, there's a man. He has no face. The man with no face. Yeah, this is a deluxe model. Because we have a clock. Clock. Of course I'm looking where I'm going. Don't be so crazy. I'm not just looking at the clock. See, we've not crashed yet, which is proof I was looking where I'm going. Now I'm going to mess with the small gadgets we have, like a wind-up window. Ooh. I'm still moving, aren't I? It's just that wall made it look like it wasn't. That door's dodgy, well. See, nothing dangerous about the way I'm driving at all. And I totally didn't get a fine last time. Except for when I did. Hazard warning light party. It's too bright to really have a hazard warning light party now. Speed, all the speed. These things can get a bit messy in the rain if you really push them. Can you mess with the radio? Ooh, the world just ends. Turn that radio off. We don't need in car entertainment. I'm as much entertainment as anyone could ever need. And my annoying voice. There's a pole. Is that electricity or telephone? I wonder. Oh dear. The engine. The engine is smoking and I've not got a repair kit. Whatever will I do? Start going slowly. That's what I say. Probably didn't have to break. But keep it about 30, I think, kilometers per hour. Which in miles per hour, I'm guessing, is 22. That's just a vague guess. I'm probably wrong. Probably a bit less than that, actually. Maybe 19 or 18. I don't know. Boxers! There's a lot of boxers. I was questioning what I saw there for a moment. Three boxes by the side of a the road. These uh, boxes are useful. They can give you stuff. Peel off the tape. Ooh. <laughs> Fancy alcohol. 
You do fit, though. There we go. The paper's worthless. At least compared to those. Look. It's been a good day, paper. But we have to throw you in the water. Oh, look. I love how it just dissolved there when I put it in the water. It's probably a glitch more than anything. But, you know, paper and water don't generally get along. So it makes sense. Now let's see our other boxes. We're also just leaving cardboard over the road, as you can see. Well, people left boxes of expensive stuff here. Back of the truck sale. Ooh, are these coffee beans? Yeah, I bet everything in these boxes is going to be unhealthy, isn't it? They could probably be tobacco, alcohol and coffee or something. Although in the right quantities, coffee can be good for you, I think. Same with alcohol, where who is actually going to have that tiny amount of it, if you see what I mean. Loading this up. It actually fits surprisingly well. If I run out of space, I'll just swap the battery and drop the old one that I'm using now. I think my interior lights on, that can probably go off. Are these like bundles of string or something? Not sure of a practical use for that. Maybe string's illegal somewhere so you can like, smuggle it and get loads of money off it. Right, the battery. Don't want to drop this in the way and we saw what happened to the paper. Open the bonnet. Yeah, there's my expensive uh, ignition coil I bought. It was something I could afford that looks fancier. So there goes the new battery. 100% in charge. My Samsung's going off. Hmm. <laughs> Let's just leave this somewhere here. I've got more of these though. I thought I'd got them all. Apparently not. I'm surprised how many of these I can fit in. At the next town, I should at least make some money. They're all pretty decently sized things as well that I can pick up. That bonnet can go down now. Oh, I'm hearing thunder. Don't want to be out in that. I did once leave my boot open. It doesn't seem things fall out if you do that, but... It would be interesting if they did. If you left your boot open and then all your stuff fell out, just leave my battery on the road in the rain. What could possibly go wrong? At least I didn't leave it in water. And I'm going too fast. The engine will go kaput at this moment. Not this moment, I mean at this weight. <laughs> Imagine if the engine did fail when I said this moment. That would have been interesting. Just slowly cruising along and ooh, the slidiness. I remember once when this whole muddy bit was new to the game, I did take it over at quite some speed and I destroyed my tyres, so that was interesting. I mean, this is a lot more interesting than the start, though. The start, you're just going along a tarmac road, basically. It's really to get you used to the game as much as anything. There's some puddles, try and go around them. I would go and mess with all my <laughs> fancy accessories, like wind up windows. Only that one doesn't work. Must be an optional extra. Hmm. Let's hope we make it to the next town. And just see how we do. I think this whole thing is randomly generated, as I said, with a town. Same here. I think. I don't recognise these fences from before, so it would make sense if it is. What's that there? Big rock, I think. Something there as well as that, a bush. Should probably turn my wipers on. I don't need them, I know, but it's like realistic. Realism and all that. Although I'm driving without a transmission. 
I think this I think this must have one gear or something. I don't know. There's not even a transmission chamber or anything there. Whoa! I think I must have been going downhill or something. I was picking up quite the pace. But it slows down amazingly. I, I was driving this vehicle on BMNG recently today and that thing would not get stopped when it overheated the brakes. I mean this is a monster under brakes considering how quick it's going which is not very. I can just coast along now I think and not use the engine. Get some decent enough speed and there's a big puddle. I should probably go around it which I kind of did but not a very good job of it. And my light. Where's my light? There we go. It's getting dark. I think I need the exterior lights more than anything. Will that help me uh, see the switch, I guess? Didn't see a box there, did I? Don't think so. And I'm going to need to use my engine again. There's a building up there. There might be a box in there, but I, I don't want to strain my car so much, so I'm just going to stop here. It would be handy if you could have a torch that you walk around with. So you can see where you're going. Building. It looks closer than it is. Door. 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 I think this is an old train station. There has been boxes in there before. But not this time. Here's our rails. Can't go any further out. Probably for the better. And jump. Yeah, there's not normally a jump feature here. It just seemed to jump when I went over the edge. I pressed space as well, somehow assuming it would jump, even though there's no jump feature like that. But there's, there we have a glowing bush. Yeah, my headlights are just useless. A bush is just a very glowy bush. Okay, so let's go. Surprisingly, my car hasn't failed yet. This is good by my standards. I think that's just up to that house thing. Railway station even, I said that, but I called it a house for some reason. Okay. No gap in the fence there. It, didn't, it does look like there's gaps in the fence and where there's not wire, but there isn't. It's just an illusion until we get closer. And I am seeing something I'm approaching here. Hazard warning light party. Yeah, we probably don't want to do that in the dark in the middle of nowhere. And I found terrain. I think I found a city. Yeah, I have. And my car hasn't failed yet. Would you believe it? There's a tree. <laughs> it looks kind of like he's got a Minecraft uh, thingy. I forget the name. Stork, is it? Probably not. Now, if we can, I think I have to buy a repair kit. Since my car, by the looks of it, is becoming a complete mess. Okay, so the game crashed. There's not really another way of putting it. But I have started travelling back and I found another box. Oh, I think these are pretty valuable. The disadvantage is I've probably lost all I had, yeah. But I have got more of these, and these, I believe, go for a decent amount if you sell them to a shop. Which is strange. You'd think a shop would pay you as little as they possibly could. It probably helps that it's a smaller shop and not one of those supermarkets, though. Okay, so I'll keep travelling, and I'll come back if anything else interesting happens. Speaking of interesting happenings, we have found another box. Kind of inconspicuously hiding here on the side of the road. It's not the easiest thing to notice actually. Some of these boxes you do need a crowbar to open. And we have some medicine by the looks of it. So let's see if we can fit that in the boot. Yeah, <laughs> I bet this will look dodgy at a border crossing even if it's not illegal like I'm just transporting pills and alcohol. Okay, let's continue then. Okay, so perhaps fascinatingly, I found this is the main road, I think, here, which is the tarmac road I've been travelling on. 
not been dirt this time, oddly enough. But then we do have this dirt road. I wonder if this goes anywhere interesting. I'm not taking the car since if I get a bit lost and it's that much more wear on the engine and stuff. But let's just explore and see what we can find. Let's jump in time to where I'm closer to the interesting stuff. Okay, so this road seems to keep going on for a very, very long time. So I'm just going to go back and see what's along the other road. Since this is probably the way I'm supposed to go. Something's going on here. I'm pretty sure I left my door open. Okay, let's go and look up here then. Anyway, see what we can find. Now again, I've walked along for a while. And I can't seem to see anything of particular interest along here. So... All I can guess is both roads will lead the same way. Those windscreen wipers are still going. I left those on the whole time. It's been a while. <laughs> I think one of them just got stuck. Yeah, I like that. It kind of shows how it's an old car that's falling to pieces. If that's what I think it is, it may be a building to explore. Seems to be a bit off the beaten track. Also known as Tarmac Road. So, I think we'll go and explore there. Zoom in a bit. Ah, it's actually a fuel stop. Fair enough. I'll go and get my stuff sold then. Okay, so the car's probably begging for a wee fuel, so we're going to open that bonnet and give it some more fuel. But I also need to get my oil, since it's got no uh, separate oil system. Oh, I thought I had oil. Maybe not. I'll just have to buy some then, I guess. Let's see what they've got, by the way. Ooh, there's stuff I sell. No, they're not. They're sausages. Yeah, they just have one tyre. They've probably been... I don't know how to say it. Um, wanted. Yeah, I'm buying two kits. I know they're probably pricey, but this car really needs... Um, 30 isn't actually too bad probably make that back what else are looking for oil we don't have oil it seems <laughs> put alcohol in instead don't think you can oh found oil that's okay then that's a third of a price of a toolkit Ooh, lights that's odd it doesn't do anything is it just really dodgy light switch hmm What was I doing? Oh yeah, make sure my windscreen's clean. Always important. I can't seem to get to the windscreen that easily. Drop the sponge in there. Now, I need my wallet, don't I? Oh, just drop that for now. I actually need to get some stuff I'm selling. It's probably more efficient if I don't have my wallet since you can only hold three things at once. So, how much are these? I think it says 11.7. They're getting me pretty good money, actually. It should pay for my fuel and then some. Yeah, just thinking sell my tool kits. No, why would I sell my toolkits back to them? I need them. Yep. You wouldn't think they'd get many customers here, would you? There's actually no other traffic on the road other than me, so... Literally, they're targeting me and that's it. Yeah, sell the medicine. They, I think they made me quite a bit of money, actually. Here's a sign, let you read that. Please return all unpaid goods before attempting to leave. Yeah, I mean, there's not much point closing the gate on me now, is there? You've got more value out of my stuff than I have out of your stuff. So even if I took the stuff and ran off, you'd literally be making more profit. Now, I've got these old things I got from my garage. I don't need them, so I can sell them. Let's 
see how much I get from them. Probably not much. It's 147 now. Ooh. It got me about three, three dollars, is it? No, euros. We're in Europe this time. Three euros isn't bad, though, for what is literally just old scrap. You wouldn't think a, a fuel station would even buy that kind of stuff. You think that's more of a garage's job? Oh well. I've got 54 now. I'm going to take my repair kits and make a profit at the same time. There you can see, we have 204 euros. <laughs> Doesn't want me to take that at the same time. But now everything's paid for, that's good. I could have just dropped my wallet and it would have flown back into the car. I didn't think of that though. Now, there isn't going to be space for all of the tool kits, but the engine does need repairing, so I'll just use one now. I thought it disappeared then. Like they'd stolen my tool kit or something, that would have been crazy. <laughs> Look at that, they've made a crazy tower with my stuff. I mean, they really don't get the customers, do they? They're so bored, they're just making weird L-shaped castles. I mean, how is that even possible? I don't think they're even, um, attached. They're just magically floating in the air. And I've got a piece of cardboard stuck to my hand somehow. Oof. <laughs> and then I hit the monitor. So, I think, here I'll just show you this uh, repairing thing as my toolkit goes a bit crazy with the shadows. Yeah, not everything's fully repaired, but it's probably better than it was. So I think we can keep going. Then we've got another tool kit, should we desperately need it, but I've forgotten to refuel. You'd honestly think that's the first thing you'd do at a fuel station, isn't it? Not me. <laughs> and I've taken the fuel tank out. We don't need that to refuel. Still got 2 out of 10 oil. Fuel, is it? I don't know. I get confused. I need to get my oil so I can oil my fuel by the looks of things. Someone's going to come looking for oil and they won't find any. <laughs> probably. Because uh, I bought the last one. And then we'll oil it here. Actually got optimal oil mix. Oh, it's which? I, I, I was so close to getting it white. I don't think I've got any oil left, actually. So, we can just leave that. I wonder if we can sell an empty oil can. That would be interesting. Wow! An empty can of oil and I get seven. Something just seems wrong about that. I mean, it's not like I'm actually selling a full oil canister thing, it's empty. It's amazing. Didn't it cost five to buy it new? So they're literally paying me to empty oil. I don't get this. This is craziness. I've used oil and... Uh, what? They've, they've charged me. That's craziness. I gave him a free bottle still. I mean, I was expecting like 1p from it or something. Whatever the euro equivalent of that is. But they actually charged me. I'm just so disappointed in that. But I won't let it ruin my day. I've still made a lot of money. So, let's time jump again. Okay, so two things. First, I crashed into a ditch. Secondly, I left my boot open. And thirdly, there's the end of the path. And yes, I know I said two things, but this is unscripted, anything can happen. So that just led around the fuel station. Anyway, I'm happy I went to that. It gave me lots of money for selling things I found, like you do. Continuing on, moments after that last clip, it's looking like we're approaching the town for real this time. Only it might be a different town since it's all randomly generated. That was a bit difficult at the start when I went into the town 
from the motel and everything had changed and I'm actually going through on a green light I don't think it makes much difference it might give me a penalty if I don't or something like that what is in there? I think it's just a park isn't it? here is our dealership for our car this always looks pretty similar though from this town I remember like you have two things round the side that lead you on and then you have some buildings in between them. There's the motel. Smoke is pouring from the hood now. Or bonnet. No um thingy. Nah. Part of what you can do on this game I think is illegally smuggle things. And because it's such a nice neighbourhood, <laughs> I'm just going to use him as my personal security guard to watch over my car. I love how he's completely unfazed by the smoke pouring out the bonnet though. Like he's like one of those London guards, you can do anything to you can do anything in front of him and he won't move. I mean he has a gun, I probably shouldn't be doing this, but hey. Hello. Boop! I touched your nose. And I've not got my wallet. Yeah. He's my personal guard. He has to watch my car. I mean, you know, who's going to steal a car with smoke pouring from the bonnet? I'm not too sure. But that's just the way some people are. Okay, so... We're paying the standardised price here, by the looks of things. Fine, that's a whip-off. I wanted to pay 19 euros. <laughs> well, you're giving me a key. The last person who claimed to work at a hotel just took my money and ran. Oh, did I just see Wayne? I don't know why that's supposed to be a feature because it's a leaky old motel, or more likely I think that it's just a problem. 2A, here we go. I'm actually near the stairs for once. So now we can be annoyed. Now, as per always, we have to leave the door open. We have to open as many cupboards as possible. We have to flush the toilet. And we have to turn all the lights on. Even though we're going to sleep. And that thing's stopping me getting out. There, now you can open. Now where are the light switches? There is one here. I don't know where the bathroom one is. Yeah, this is the same kind of room it was before like it changed a lot from the other thing it was a more long and thin room before but this way we can run around and have athletic races because it's so big and I'm going to sleep in the other bed this time which I can't do fine this bed I just threw my wallet out the window I'm sure no one will steal that Okay, so this seems like a decent place to end. So we'll wake up, and then we'll continue. So, goodbye, until another day.